Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it was requested of me to do a cut crease using red and purple today. I tried my best to give you a true in-depth tutorial on how to do this kind of look. I did one in the past with neutral colors, so be sure to check out that video as well. But without further ado, if you want to know how I did this look today, then keep on watching. Like usual, I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and my M173 brush. Now on a small dense brush, I'm just using one from my Anastasia palette. I'm going to pick up pigment from the Conspiracy palette and start creating our eye shape. If you do your shadows around your crease like this, see how the lid is still perfectly bare? That'll make it easier to create the cut crease so you don't have to go back in with concealer and actually cut it and try to get the shape perfect. It's just easier to do it this way in my opinion because you can really feel around where the shadows should line up without having to go in with concealer and potentially mess it all up later. I will be feathering this out on the outer corner of my eye, so I'm going to start creating that shape as well with this color. Using that same brush, I'm just going to smoke out the edges. Now with a fluffy brush, I'm just going to flip this brush over and use the fluffy side. I'm going to pick up my pills and blend that in with pigment just to make sure the edges are nice and smoked out. Going back in with pigment on that denser side just to bring that pigment back. Alright, now I'm going to go in with Flamin' Hot, just a nice bright red shade, and deepen up the crease a little bit more. Alright, now I'm going to go back in with that fluffy side, but pick up pigment and my pills to blend out that red. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the red, just to deepen it up a little bit more. Now on a M431 brush, I'm going to pick up Not A Fact and put that deepest in my crease. I'm just using a light back and forth motion so I don't add too much pigment to start out. You could always add more, but it's harder to take away. Sometimes to get a lighter hand, I like to hold the end of the brush just to make sure there's not any pressure at all. When applying. I'm going to go back in with the brush that we used for Flamin' Hot and you pick up that one more time to blend it in with Not Effect. Going to go back in with Not Effect and just deepen it up. I'm going to go back and forth with all these colors until I'm happy with the blending and intensity of all of them. Now on the same M431 brush that I used for Not Effect, I'm going to pick up the darkest purple in the Morphe 39S palette. I don't have the paper with me to tell you guys what the shade name is, but it's in the second to last row, kind of towards the middle. So I'm going to pick that up and deepen the crease with that. Now I'm going to pick up Not Effect on that dense brush that we use for Pigment and Flamin' Hot, and I'm going to blend that in with the dark purple. Now I'm going to pick up Flamin' Hot and blend that into Not Effect. All right, I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back to cut the lid. All right, now to cut the lid. A little trick for this is to put some concealer on your lash line and then look up and that'll give you a perfect crease shape. Sometimes, however, for me, that'll make my line higher than my crease. So it'll end up taking away most of the darker shadow that I put down. So I like to just follow along the shape of my eye socket, but whatever works for you, it was what works for you. I'm just going to cut the lid using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I do like to look up just a little bit to make sure I have the line close to where it should be, but I don't really look up that high up because that happens. <laughs> Oof. So I'm going to make my line right where this first line is and just go back in with shadow to cover this part up. If you would put black in your crease for the last color, I like to use my cellar water on a Q-tip or makeup remover to just get rid of all of the eyeshadow on your lid to make it easier to cut the crease so the colors will pop more than they would on a darker kind of grayish concealer. 
but since we're doing a color similar to these, I'm not really too worried about that. To get rid of this little spot, I'm going to take a flat brush in those darker colors, not a fact in the dark purple, and just clean it up. For me, the hardest part of doing a cut crease is this little corner over here making it the perfect angle. I did it once perfectly, and I've never done it perfectly again. So just, I don't really have a hack for that, but um, just bear with me. <laughs> See, it just looks so droopy. I am content with this. I tried to make the angle line up with how the lower lash line is, so it creates just one seamless line between the two. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye, and I'll be right back to add some shimmer. All right, on a small, dense brush, I'm going to pick up Pink Prize from the Morphe 39S palette and put that all on my lid. And with my finger, I'm going to pack Strike a Pose on top of Pink Prize. Now on a flat brush, I'm going to go back in with Not A Fact and that dark purple and deepen up the crease and make sure there's a nice line between the shimmers and the mattes. Alright, let's pause the eyes and start working on the face. First, I'm going to prime using my Benefit Professional Primer. Now I'm going to apply a light layer of my ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick. Before I blend it out, I'm going to use my M421 brush just to clean up our eyes. Alright, now I'm going to blend out my face using my M439 brush. Now I'm going to conceal the highest points of my face using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I'm going to blend this out using my M173 brush. Now I'm going to set everywhere that we just concealed using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 05 and my Morphe E48 brush. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face using my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Press Powder in my Morphe M527 brush. So I'm going to contour using my Morphe E4 brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. For blush, I'm going to use my ColourPop Super Shock Blush in the shade Holiday on my Morphe M405 brush. Alright, let's zoom you in so we can finish off the lower lash line. So I'm basically just going to mimic the crease onto our lower lash line, so I'm going to pack that dark purple closest to the lower lash line, blend it out with that Not A Fact shade, and then Flamin' Hot, and lastly Pigment, and then My Pills. Now I'm going to take Not A Fact on an M431 brush. On the Anastasia brush, I'm going to pick up Flamin' Hot. And I'm going to blend out pigment with my pills on the fluffy side of the brush. To highlight my inner corner and the rest of my face today, I'm going to be using Ranch from the Conspiracy palette. And then on top of that, I'm going to pick up Oh Yeah's from the Morphe 39S palette. I did wet the brush before putting my face highlighter on. Too wet. Not really sure how to fix that, but just don't look at it. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with Oh Yas. For lips, I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Lip in the shade Asayu. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of Jeffree Star's Diva in there just to warm up this purple a little bit. Here's the finished look guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you never miss out when I upload, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!